Good afternoon, my gorgers. Today I have something special, because it's special to me. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are curious on my opinions on this. Um, I have the $1.67 All-American Cheeseburger from Checkers, my favorite fast food establishment in Brooklyn, Manhattan, all of, I mean, in all of Brooklyn and Manhattan. The best, um, the best one dollar fifty cent burger money can buy. Um, so I had this in my backpack, and I just walked like two miles, a little over two miles. Um, I had to put it in my backpack because I was handing out um, resumes, and I didn't want to walk into um, whatever establishment I was applying for. Um, with a with a checkers cheeseburger because there's probably a prejudice against uh, checkers consumers like myself. Maybe it looks bad. I don't know. But here, let's open the burger. You see it? Here's the burger. You got it? Okay. Let's look. Let, let's look under the hood here. All right. Okay, so we have cheese, only one pickle. Uh, no, no, there's three pickles. Two of them were hiding, actually, you see that? Kind of stuck to the ketchup on top, but um, that's cool, that's good. I, I expected, there's normally three. I was a little surprised when I only saw um, one, but they stuck to the formula. All right, let's take my first bite. Okay, so immediately, immediately you get the ketchup. The most striking part of the burger is actually the, um, the large amount of checkup, uh, ketchup on here. Um, let's try again. Okay. I just hit a little pickle depository. Um, a pickle vein, which really helped out the taste, um, which is already fantastic. I should have evenly distributed the pickles over the surface area, because right now, I don't know if you can see this, they're all in the middle there, um, but that's all right. I mean, when the food's in your mouth, it's in your mouth, and it's gonna do what it's gonna do. Take a drink of water. Okay, let's try to talk about the meat here. Let me just, let me just get a taste. Mm-hmm. Not a lot of flavor in the meat. However, I like the texture. I can't describe it really. It's soft, unintimidating, delicate, but the actual taste is a little bit underwhelming. Um, but it's one dollar fifty cents. Uh, so I, I am a little disappointed in the uh, cheese to ketchup ratio. When it's a cheeseburger, I feel like. Um, you should be getting, taste-wise, like 30% burger, 30% cheese, 10% um, ketchup, 20% miscellaneous. Um, but here it's more like 20% burger, 20%, no, no, 20% burger, 10% cheese, like 50% ketchup, like 20% pickle. That's too, too high of a percent. I recognize this. Uh, mm -mm. No. That was a bad bite. Dude. I only got the pickle, the pickle vein. So 
that was basically just eating like a pickle dipped in ketchup. And that's not what I paid for. And that's not what I'm looking for in a cheeseburger. Uh, so, okay. Mm, put it down. Mm. Let me cleanse my palate here. So, the All-American Burger from Checkers, $1.67, Brooklyn price, um, you know, for $1.50, um, it's pretty fantastic. I don't think you can get a better burger for $1.50, um, not even from McDonald's, uh, from the dollar menu. I'll review a McChicken, um, in the future because um, I'm quite fond of those uh, but this burger is important to me it has sort of a um, like a, a nostalgic element to it which um, won't play into my rating because that's not fair it's too subjective uh, so the burger too much pickle too much ketchup not enough cheese not enough meat. Uh, now I wish this was specific to this one burger that I just ate, but this actually seems to be a pattern in the all-American cheeseburgers. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with it. I mean, I love it, but if I'm gonna review it honestly, as the professional food critic I am, then I really gotta give it 4 out of 10 on the burger scale. Four and a half out of ten on the burger scale, um, and I really hate to, uh, I really hate to say that. Now, if we're going checkers, the Big Buford's kind of, kind of where to go. Um, oh, they had this good sourdough, uh, Swiss cheese mushroom burger that was amazing. Um, they have incredible deals there. So I, th I think it was probably only like two bucks for something that was like high quality. That was like Michelin star shit. So uh, yeah, all right. Thanks for watching, Gorgers. I'll see you next time on Food Reviews.